Hello everybody, welcome to Juicy Restaurant. Our theme this time is Molecular Cuisine. So what is Molecular Cuisine? It's a new movement that combines science with the art of cooking. So let us have a look at a few examples. Here comes a sucking pig that has been slow cooked at 75 degrees for over 10 hours. As you can see here, it's being pan seared with skin down so that the skin could be as crispy as possible. And as garnishing, pumpkin puree and pickled purple cabbages will be used. And then to add the final touches, reduced gravy will then be added as well as some sea salt will be sprinkled on top. Beautiful. The pumpkin puree is a little bit sweet and it adds some juiciness to the meat of the suckling pig. And then the pickled purple back cabbages would add some acidity to balance out the fattiness and oiliness of this dish. And these garnishes and the suckling pig could complement each other. And then coming up will be slow cooked eggs served on potato foam with sauteed mushrooms and chorizo. First, we'll prepare a bed of potato foam with siphon by adding nitrous to it. And then we will add some previously sauteed mushrooms to add texture to the dish. We will add the slow cooked egg that was previously cooked in 65 degrees water. Right. And last, we'll add the chorizo and some chives to add color and flavor to this dish. And the dessert here will be coffee pudding with whiskey and caramel flavors. A coffee pudding is used as a base with rice crackers added on top. A layer of whiskey vanilla cream is added with siphon. Then at last, caramel is added as topping. Very good. The previous dishes were provided by Mesa 15. Let's move on to another restaurant, Boat Innovation. We first start by drawing the plate, then passion fruit seeds are added, then we prepare the potato foam with the siphon, then the gyoho grape jellies are added at the side with pan seared scallop in the middle. This! And the whole dish is done. And the last dish will be a molecular shell bao. Dissolving calcium lactate in a very thick pork soup and then scooping it into a sodium chloride solution and wait for a few minutes for the outer skin to develop. It's going to be remarkable. Then it is scooped out with a slotted spoon and rinsed in a water bath. After that, it is placed into warm oil for a few minutes to add glossiness to its surface. And then it is finally served with a thin slice of pickled ginger on top. This is a molecular technique known as spherification. And when you place a spear into your mouth, it will literally burst in your mouth to release all the soup inside. Wow! What a bang! Yeah! 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 Yeah!